Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the fair use, fair dealings guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. Well, I was watching the news and saw the discussion about Harry and his wife. I thought it was so prophetic. I'm passing it along to you. So this is gonna be a super short video and it's a little choppy because I cut out all the discussion about the BBC and just left the part about Harry and his wife. So listen to this. Well, we're very excited to hear from you exactly your thoughts on Prince Harry, on Diana, on Martin Bashir. Take it away, Calvin. It's gone absolutely crazy. So let's first of all remember that Prince Harry moved to America for privacy, to get away from all the press and all the media in the UK. And what have they done since they've arrived in America? They've courted the media to no end. You know, they had the outrageous interview with Oprah Winfrey. They've now got a whole series with her uh, where they're going to be cashing in, essentially, on poor Prince Harry's late mother. Um, you know, they've already talked about their, their young child, Archie. His first words were, Grandma Diana. Who believes this rubbish? Oh, honestly? please. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's gone crazy. So they're claiming all of this stuff. And at the same time, we've got Prince William, his big brother, over here delivering a really, really classy statement to the media saying that we need to essentially defund the BBC because of what the BBC has done over the whole Princess Diana situation. So... So, they, so, Calvin, if I can just, can you talk us through exactly what happened? I know Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are trying to use this as a parallel for their own life. And as you said, they're saying that Meghan is the new Princess Diana. And because somehow Pr Princess Diana's death was linked to racism because she happened to be dating Dodie, who was a Muslim. Um, now they're saying that everyone is racist towards Meghan Markle because she happens to be biracial or mixed race or whatever she wants to call herself. It's like they're, they're drawing these dots because people loved Princess Diana. She was the pr people's princess. People don't love Meghan Markle. So they're trying to cash in on Diana's name in order to up their fame. And that's what all this is about. It's all about upping the fame of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as they launch their US career. You know, she was a C-list, B-list at best uh, actress. She was in a good show Suits, but she wasn't one of the main stars. And now she is world renowned. You know, she married into royal lineage and she's cashing in on her HRH title to absolutely put herself at the top of those A-listers. And, you know, she's treating staff horrendously. She's being a bully. She's being a diva. And it's not right. It's, there's no class there. You know, when we look at the statements released by Meghan and Harry, really crass and like I say cashing in on on the late Princess Diana when we look at their big his big brother Prince William really you know future king statements right there really m monarchical really monastic and actually full of class and integrity uh, so Rita. hopefully Prince Harry could learn a thing or two from Prince William absolutely Rita Oh, thank God William was born first, is all I can say. I mean, can you imagine King Harry and Queen Meghan? My God. Uh, now, Meghan was uh, obsessed with Diana, according to her childhood friends, who, who was also a bridesmaid at her first wedding. And you do wonder about whether she wants to be Diana. Apparently she did. She read Diana's book and she wanted to be Diana. But also... On, on the first point, yes, Meghan is actually obsessed with Princess Diana. It's quite creepy. And the weird thing is that in her first Oprah Winfrey interview, she said she'd done no research on the royal family. She knew nothing about them. We know that to be untrue. Uh, and again, she's mm. drawing those parallels between racism just in order to, you know, play that victim card and make herself look like, look like someone that people can relate to. Uh, and at the same time, attacking the royal family, you know, by accusing them of being racist towards her without actually saying who it was or what they said. Um, it's, it's, it's disgusting to see. And at the same time, it's not just her. Prince Harry is doing the same thing. You know, he said that he had fatigue from orchestrating his royal duties. You know, swanning off around the world on private jets gave him fatigue. <laughs> I'm sure many people today would love to do that. But, but you're right. But James... Yeah, I just want to keep going with this theme, if you don't mind, because I find this absolutely fascinating because Prince Harry, before Meghan came on the scene, he was actually a really well-liked and useful person. He was using his royal office for good. He did the Invictus Games. He did a lot of things like that that, uh, you know, people appreciated. And yet, since she came on the scene, doesn't all of this stuff that's been coming out, including her talk about how she thought about killing herself, but she didn't want him to lose another woman in his life, show that really this is about Meghan? 
Meghan and her manipulation of Harry to advance her own career and her own cause while taking him away from his own family? I think you're absolutely right. It's really sad to see. It does look like he's being manipulated by her. Um, I, I can't attest to that because it's all speculation at this point, but I, I feel like he needs to see a therapist, and he says he is, but then do that privately. Don't do it across the tabloids in the international media, you know, airing your family's dirty laundry, because one day he's going to regret this. He's going to look back and say, I broke bridges between me and my brother, me and my father, and right now, her, Royal, her Majesty, the Queen, is grieving the loss of her husband and Prince Harry is doing this all at the same time. How must she be feeling right now? It's horrendous to do this to any family, but to a British institution like this, it's almost unforgivable. I would love to hear your thoughts on that one. Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to email me. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget about that coffee fund. And as always, have a great day.